In this video, I want to show you how you can set up native revenue cat paywalls inside of your lovable mobile application. Yes, you heard right. Lovable mobile application that is live on the App Store and Google Play Store using the Despia NPM package. So let's take a look at this together. First of all, you want to create a revenue cat account and you want to get this all set up with your application. If you want a more detailed video on doing that, please take a look at the Revenue Cat integration guide I made. I'll link it down in the video description down below. It's an entire course going through all the details. Now, I already have my Revenue Cat account linked to my store. I want to mention that. So if I go to API Keys, you will see I already have my store connected to that. So now in order to get this working with Lovable, we need to use Despia, which turns your Lovable web application into a native mobile application that you can deploy to the Apple iOS App Store and the Google Android Play Store. So I already have that set up. I already got it integrated. So now I need to put my store SDK key inside of Despia. So the first step will be going back to Revenue Cat, going to API keys, copying the public key for the store that we wish to use. It's the same process, iOS or Android. And then inside of here, we're going to go back to Despia. We're going to paste our SDK keys inside of here. I'm just going to do iOS, but it's the same process for both of them. And then we need the global project ID. So if we go back to Revenue Cat, we can now go to project settings and we can go here to the project ID and copy this. There you go. Now we're just going to paste this inside of here, inside of Despia. And now to save some time, I'm already building the application. So we can do those things in parallel. But if you would not be already building the application, because I'm obviously prepping so this video uh, looks a little bit more smoother, um, you would go on Publish App. You would then select the OS that you're trying to build the application for. And then you would click on Publish Project down here. And then you would wait up to 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour, until your application is fully built and integrated with Revenue Cat. Now, if you already have those information set up from our um, custom payment store kit Android billing integration, which we also have and still fully support. This is a more custom way if you want to design the paywalls yourself in your system, you know, if you're very opinionated in how it has to look. We also have a custom way for you to set that up. But in this example, we have a simpler way using the paywalls. And I see, there you go, there was some old documentation cached. But, you know, we now have also a simpler way using Revenue Cat's built in paywalls if you want. But both of them, both of them are valid options. So in this example, if you already have the custom set up here, you don't have to rebuild your application. So in this example, my application is rebuilding. I entered the information because it's my first time doing it. So now we need to create our custom paywall. So inside of Revenue Cat, we want to go to product catalog. And as I mentioned, I'm already having my products implemented here. So they are already all imported. So if you don't have it already, please take a look at the setup guide that I'll link in the video description down below. But you can now go to offerings and you wanna create a new default offering. So we're going to go, identifier will be default and then display name, I'm just going to call this default. And then I need to create a package. So let's add a package here. Let's only do one. I'm going to do one monthly and I'm going to call this monthly. And then the product I'm going to select is going to be in this example, my monthly subscription that is imported from the store. So I'm going to save this here. And now I have my offering created. Now I can go to paywalls here and I'm going to create a new paywall and it's going to be for the default offering. So let's add the paywall. And now you're being, you know, you're being redirected to a page with all of those templates here. And they got some really beautiful templates here for mindfulness applications. Um, I don't know what language that is, but uh, they got some nice, um, you know, some nice templates here that you can fully customize. So let's take the nicest one. I actually like this one, but I also like this looks, this looks like super AI. So let's try this one. And in this example here, you would just look for the package component. So for example, here, there is a package component and you would now go on the side panel here and select your package that you want 
to be displayed inside of here dynamically. So in this example, it's my monthly subscription. So I'm going to click on here and now it updates the price and it sets it up all dynamically as you can see. You can also add promotional offers, but I'm not going to do this. And then you go to the purchase button. The purchase button is going to set up an in-app purchase and then you have a button to restore purchases. You, this can be a navigate back if you want, whatever you want. Um, you know, you can navigate to terms of service, to a web purchase. So for example, that's also popular because now you can say, hey, check out with the web to save some of the commissions. In this example, I'm just going to make this be a um, navigate back button. And then I can just go inside of this text here and I can change this text. I can say, go back, for example. So it's like a nice visual editor, almost like Webflow, almost like Framer, where you can build your paywalls visually without writing a single line of code. So this is a great experience here. So now what I also really like about um, Revenue Cat's implementation here, um, you know, as you can see, I can now save this draft and it's going to tell me all the errors that are going to, that I, that I forgot to set up correctly and when I publish the paywall. But apparently there are no errors, so we can confirm and publish. And now we have this all nicely set up. So now we should be able to do our purchase with this paywall. So we can close this. And now we go to our product catalog again. And under offerings, you see we have our default offering inside of here. And this is the identifier. So now to set this up inside of Lovable, we're going to go to lovable.despi.com. We're going to go to the Revenue Cat paywall um, documentation under native features. And we have this battle tested lovable prompt here. So we're just going to copy this prompt here for Despia. And we're going to go into our lovable project. We're just going to simply paste the prompt. And I'm going to say, implement this for the offering. And I'm going to now copy the identifier of the offering that I'm trying to have the users subscribe to. So I'm going to go to Revenue Cat and I'm going to go on Offerings and I'm copying the default offering here. You know it's the default offering based on this little check mark here. So now we're going to go back to Lovable. We're going to paste the offering ID inside of here and I'm going to say for the user, user one, just hard code it. It's just, just an example front end test. Now you wouldn't say that you would want it to integrate and create the webhooks and all that kind of stuff. But in this example, I'm just trying to showcase you this. I'm not trying to make a two hour video about the full integration back end, front end, login, all that kind of stuff. So I'm doing a simplified version here, but if you want the full multi-hour setup, back end, front end, login, all that. Take a look at the lovable um, mobile application playlist that we also have available. I'll link it also below this video. But there you go. Now we can see it's starting the setup and this will take a couple of minutes, um, sometimes even less. So we'll just let it sit. Um, in the meantime, we can check in with Despian. As you can see, um, the build was successful. So we can now probably already go into test flight and we should be able to update the application. So let's see, it may take a little bit, but while Lovable is doing its job here, okay, it already did that. We can now publish the application. Let's update it. Now I'm still waiting for test flight to hurry up in, you know, publishing the update. So we'll just wait now to Lovable publish it publishes it. And the nice thing about Despia and Lovable is you have updates over the air, meaning all the changes you do inside of Lovable are updated immediately in real time on your native application. And it's 100% store compliant. You don't have to wait 10 days for Apple to approve a change to your paywall. You can do it all over the air immediately. That's the beautiful thing about it. So now we're just going to wait till Apple approves the test flight application, which usually takes like 10 minutes or so, they're scanning it for viruses. So the application was now successfully built. So let's check this out here. So upgrade to premium. As you can see, the native Revenue Cat paywall is now launching. Look at this beautiful animation here, this little nice spring effect to it. Stunning, look at that, beautiful. Uh, we can go back to close the paywall here with the back button. 
and then we can continue and use the native revenue cat paywall we're using the native in-app purchase slash in-app subscription sdk for that to the you know device platform and now so you can see you're all set the purchase was successful we can confirm now the paywall will also confirm it'll close and now we need to set up the back end obviously so we would now go into revenue cat we would now go into integrations and we would set up our back ends we would add a new back end um, webhook and we would then connect this with our webhook url so we can receive the events attached to the external user id on our back end and then grant the access on the front end and then you know start polling for all kinds of stuff and then grant access and then update the interface inside of our application now if you want to dive into the back end setup and how this works with the server take a look at the video we have with the whole setup guide with revenue cat and despia and then also you know how to get this all orchestrated from lovable but you know this is how you launch those beautiful paywalls here just like that there you go and that's how simple this is with lovable despia and revenue cat thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see all the exciting paywalls that you'll be building with this great new integration thank you so much for watching and see you soon take care bye